Hey folks. Hey, uh, so this last little debacle there in Congress, um, I'm going to call some people out here, uh, our misrepresentatives, and for the state of Utah, you guys probably got about a zero, except for, um, oh shoot. Uh, Mike Lee, holy cow, I can't believe I can. Romney, big fat F for representation. The Rhino, traitor. Um, let's see, so our representatives, District 1, Rob Bishop. Nice job on not showing up, dude. A wall, absent without leave. Okay, maybe you did have leave, right? But we'll just call it dereliction of duty. How about that? You found an excuse not to be there to probably one of the most important votes of this year, or even in our in this time, um, and you failed us, you're my misrepresentative or lack of representation. You just take up a space and do nothing when we needed you. You didn't do, you wasn't there for us, man. Ben McAdams, goodbye. You're, uh, most people have no idea. They voted, let's see, we'll go to, right down the list. McAdams, Bishop, and Curtis, uh, and Stewart, let's see. All but Bishop voted yes, and Bishop didn't vote because he didn't bother to show up. Uh, Romney voted yes um, on this stimulus bill, this COVID-19 stimulus bill. And uh, the other thing I can call out here is KSL and ABC. Anytime they prop up a Republican and talk about what a great person he is and how great of a job they're doing, they probably are not a Republican. They're a rhino, and rhino is its own party, Republican in name only party. Uh, so technically, we are split three ways. We have Republicans, rhinos, and Democrats, socialists, Democratic socialists, whatever, traitors. All right. KSL, ABC, NBC, CSNBC, all those guys, anybody reporting here in the state of Utah, KSL, you're not excused from this either. Um, really dropping the ball, guys. Well, actually, you're not dropping the ball. You're doing exactly what you're paid to do. Tell us a story. Politically motivate that story. Skew it to a socialist agenda. And alienate the rest of us. Good job. Job well done. Let's see. All right, we do have um, Ben McAdams... Sorry, I get this bright light in my face. I'm trying to read my notes, and I got spots all over it, so it makes it hard to see. There we go. Ben McAdams, District 4. Uh, he's being replaced by Burgess Owens. He's a former Democrat. Welcome to the team. Hopefully you're not a fake rhino or a rhino like the rest of them. Utah. Let's give him Bur Burgess Owens here. He's a former Democrat and a former NFL player. That doesn't make me feel better about anything because the Democrats won. They're a problem party. And the NFL, I don't watch their games anymore. Not because I don't like football. Because I don't, it's politicized. It's bullcrap. And how do we know you're not one of these guys who pretend to be a Republican? Your story was, to me, story was not really convincing. I guess your district voted for you so you convinced them and that's what matters to you, right? Don't be a McAdams. Okay? Be be a patriot, dude. Not the NFL team. You, I don't know what team you're on. I haven't looked you up that far. But uh, let's go over some things here. Rob Bishop. His contact number. To ask him why he was absent. 202-225-0435. And that's his Washington number. Let's see another one. 202 is the fax. 225 Five eight five seven is his fax number. If you want to send him a specialized message, um, thanks for not being there. It's kind of like a father, an absentee father who doesn't know his children's names, doesn't know their birthdays, uh, doesn't remember that they're even their, his kids. You know, it's kind of thanks, Bishop. It's kind of where you're, you're placed in my book here. Uh, Curtis here. I'm not going to bother giving you Ben McAdams information. He's already got the money, and he's already rich, and he's already screwed us over, and he's on his way out. And he's like, screw you, I got mine, okay? And I don't have Burgess Owens' contact information. I didn't look it up. Uh, let's see, he's District 4 for those interested. Curtis, 
202-225-7751 is the Washington. And his Provo one is 801-922-5400. And Stewart, 202-225-9730. And then his Utah office is 801-364-5551. Essentially, Utah, with the exception of Mike Lee standing the ground, lonely at the top kind of a guy, voted yes to screw us all over. Um, who are we voting for? Do we know our candidates? I don't think we do. And with a lot of outside influence moving into Utah, we, we've allowed ourselves to be voted out of our, our money, out of our way of life. We've been voted into lockdown. Um, Cox, I think's his name, replacing the former governor. Um, he's... I don't think I relate to Utah. Utah in here. Utah. Utahns. Holy cow, if I could say it. I don't know. If, you claim to be Republican, which I'm not a party person, but you claim to back the Constitution of the United States, and then you elect idiots. I... What the heck? Anyway, I know who mine, I'm going to ride in next. The In eight years, you can't get rid of Romney. What happened to our recall election? Why do we have to let him do so much damage before we can kick him out? Whatever happened with that? Does anyone know? Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Give me a thumbs up. You can't give me a thumbs down because, you know, freedom of choice is limited. You only get a thumbs up. Thumbs down is if, if, only if you know how to hack a YouTube channel. Or BitChute channel. I'm angry. They have just sold. <laughs> they have misrepresented us in so many different ways. Or didn't even bother to show up to represent us. So. I don't know. Mitt Romney. You're sacked dude. And what the. The Curtis and Stewart. The. Who are you guys working for? Sure not the betterment of the Utah or the United States. You vote to take our money, give it away to everybody, but the people that need it. You'll be getting a phone call from me, so... And I won't be friendly and nice, because you haven't done your dang job. Alright? I'm, I'm signing off, so I'm not really happy with these people. Alright, bye. God, these guys are irritating.